Hello. 2L is a recording company in the true sense of the word. As we're traveling around the world and actually making all the recordings ourselves. A lot of our efforts goes into finding the best possible venues for making these recordings. Say hello to our babies. These are our microphones. Uh, one of our most important tools in this chain. What we are going to talk about here today is the A to D conversion process. Our raw sampling venue recording is made with a 5-bit at 5.6 megahertz. From this raw sampling, we can either choose to format as DSD or go to high-resolution PCM. As you can see, I've crossed out the DSD because as a recording format, it's of no use as we can make no processing whatsoever. We cannot even change the levels of what we record when we're in the DSD. So we have rather choose to format the raw sampling at something which is uh, defined as DXD, which is really linear PCM at 352.8 kilohertz, 24 bit. This resolution we preserve all through recording, editing, mix and mastering into our original master files. Then from this master files we can then sample rate convert out to the formats that is used for distribution. Just a few months ago the highest resolution we could distribute to end users was 192 kilohertz, 24-bit. As of this week, together with Lothar, which we'll talk about this later, uh, we are starting to actually distribute our original master file resolution at DXD in 352.8 kilohertz. Um, in parallel with that, we will also distribute the 192 and the 96 kilohertz for, uh, for compatibility. And also the DXD makes a very, very nice DSD for end customer use. The reason I told you that we don't use DSD for production, that is not valued for playback in an end user environment. The DSD derived or decimated from the DXD can sound beautiful at the end user stage. Um, one question that very often arises is why do we not keep integer distribution from 352.8? Why don't we go to 176 kilohertz? That would be true for real-time sample rate conversion. We always find that if you do a real-time sample rate conversion, if you go non-integrated, it tends to sound not so good. But as we prepare these files uh, non-real-time with software, we actually can make a processing where we can hear no difference between integer and non-integer. And to us then, we believe that for future distribution of high-res music, it's much more important to be compatible with the video uh, formats at the basis of 48 kilohertz and multiples of that. So that's why we have chosen to go for 192 and 96. These are the raw audio file formats. This is linear PCM in WAV or AFF for the Macintosh platform. Now I will hand over the microphone for Lothar. We'll talk a little bit more about how you can package and encode these raw file formats for distribution. Thank you, Mom.